What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This weekend is the biggest weekend of the year. We have a two round weekend coming into the championship here on Sunday. Half the season points are on the line right now. We have over half the grid tied in season points. So it's literally anybody's weekend to win. Uh, everybody on the team is ready, we're prepared. Uh, a little bit of nerves going on, but we're gonna do our best to kind of maintain our mentality and keep ourselves straight and forward and eyes focused on what we're trying to make accomplish here. Um, everybody went through, fixed their cars. Everybody's sitting pretty solid. Uh, so everything comes down today, guys. It is today. Today is going to make or break the weekend. Stay tuned to find out. Your name? Your name? Yes. Are you good? Yes. You sure? Yeah. I feel like I have to add this. There's been a lot of questions. Don't hate me for it. What you got there? What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Wish.com LZ. Knockoff LZ. Whatever. We, we eat 36 After boys. What is going on, YouTube? All right, we got a action-packed weekend for you guys. Um, we got round three and four this weekend. So two comps, one weekend, two back-to-back -back videos. Um, so we're gonna have a, a lot of information, a lot of uh, action, a lot of little clips and everything. The guys are gonna fill you in on uh, any issues they're having during comp. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to, to jump in on the camera and uh, between runs, let you know what's, what's going on in their heads. Um, what, they, uh, what they're looking for to, to fix uh, any mistakes that may happen in that run. And uh, I'll try to jump in as I can um, with judging and uh, kind of give a little, little peek into what we're looking for, um, what we're nitpicking at, uh, especially as you start coming down to the top eight, um, or the grade eight, I should say. Um, we start to get a little, a little tighter and, uh, and things get more intense. Um, but that being said, we are about ready to hit the road here and uh, we got another, I would say, living amenity modification we've done. I, I really wish I, I, I could set up the camera and, and video more of this. Um, I, I'll try my best in the future to, to show you guys as we build this trailer out over the off season. But um, this was kind of a rust job. Uh, trying to keep some of the heat. Anybody that has these enclosed trailers know just how hot they can get because of the ceiling. Um, it's just tin metal up top. So as soon as the sun hits it, I mean, it, it, the temperature just jumps through the roof. So we got some insulation up, got it all battened up and everything. So we took some temperature readings uh, looks to be about a 20 degree difference between when I didn't have the insulation up and when there is uh, Hopefully the AC can keep up with it during the day I don't know how well that's gonna work because the walls are still not insulated and as you can see it is a black trailer but We're making progress one step at a time um, The guys had some issues they had to work through uh, with the collision between Andy and um, Stoney um, They got their cars together. They got everything ready um, they're excited for a good weekend and a, uh, an intense competition. Um, so those guys will fill you in on, uh, on what they had to go through and their struggles to get their cars ready and uh, what, uh, what we're going to be going through with comp here. Um, so hope you guys are excited for another wild ride. We'll see you down there. What's up everybody? Here we are at the last round. So it's a double header weekend. Um, so as you guys might have remembered on the last uh, video, I kind of had a little mishap with our uh, teammate Andy. Ended up causing some issues with the front of my car, so had to go ahead and correct all that, right? So we've got you know new coil over in the front, or new uh, front lower control arm, my bad. Fortunately, that was the only thing that got messed up. I went ahead and did that. Um, after pulling off the rear wheels, we realized that my alignment was whack. I mean, like. Driver's side wheel was cambered in, the passenger side wheel was cambered out. I mean, it was just, it was an absolute train wreck. So we got the car realigned, got the, uh, the lower control arm changed, uh, found a couple other little small issues, got those corrected. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the car is gonna feel. And on top of that, I just had 
uh, my tuner, Mr. Justin Richardson from Protec LLC, retuned the car. He uh, went through the tune and just kind of fine tuned it. I told him, hey, I want this thing on point. The car was running great before, but he just went ahead and he tweaked a couple of little small things. So shout out to you. The car so far sounds good. I'm getting ready to take it out on the track right now. We're going to find out if this thing is better. So there we go. championship weekend uh, last round as some of you may know uh, did have a little bit of a breakage happen my diff uh, the cover the ear of it broke off which then took out an axle it took out my hub it took out my wheel bearing so uh, I was working really hard got the car all back together uh, no big deal you know it is what it is uh, should be tip top 100% today I hope uh, I gotta be honest with you, super fucking nervous. My car has not left an event yet without it being broken, so uh, I don't I don't really know what to expect. I have to have my car work two days in order to make this championship weekend happen. So uh, today is probably gonna be comp for me, maybe a couple of fun runs at the end of the day, just to kind of practice, feel good in the car, but I'm not gonna be going hard, uh, which sucks because like, internally that doesn't feel so good for me because I do this for fun I want to only have fun and when you start taking it too seriously that's when it becomes unfun and I feel like that's almost what this weekend has to be is a little bit of unfun just to make sure that the car works for tomorrow but uh, either way I'm just gonna turn that off even though I won't be out there doing a hundred laps I'm just gonna focus on having fun for the laps that I do uh, and see if we can go rounds today, man. Uh, that's what it's all about. So um, I don't know what to expect, but at least round three layout is a shoot. Very familiar with it. Uh, so, you know, that should be fairly easy for me. Uh, round four layout, that's a different, that's a different animal. We haven't, we haven't messed with that. It's fast to slow rather than slow to fast. So uh, it'd be interesting, but uh, I'm here, car's here. I feel good, car feels good. Let's get after it. to go out there for some practice uh learn a little bit of the course they, they changed up a few things um so that i was talking to one of the judges and they kind of gave us and the team some pointers on what they're looking for what zones they hit where i should be looking for especially in this uh clipping zone uh should set us up for the outer zone uh car sliding pretty good from the last time I, I, I slid on it. Um, so we're gonna go out there and do a couple practice laps and see how she feels and uh, see if we need to pull any more grip or if we need to add some grip. I'll see you guys out there. Oh, he did end up going.
My bad. My shit feels a little weird. I don't understand. Yeah. It like, I don't know. I might have to drop my front tire pressure a little bit because it just like scrubbed. I might have to drop my front tire pressure a little bit because it like yeah. scrubbed hard. Yeah, but they also hurt. just had a lot of dirt on the track too. Yeah. My fuel pump's making some crazy noise. I gotta go check on it. Oh shit. Yeah. It's got a brand new fuel pump in it, but it's raising hell back there. Right. Hey, next time we come out though, they just switched it back to lead line, chase line, and we're gonna practice like comp now. Okay, lead and chase? Lead, chase, yeah. Okay. All right. I feel pretty good on the, I think I know what to do on the uh, lead run. Now I wanna see what the chase is like and then I'll just start. I'll probably start practicing leading a little bit more just to get used to that entry. Yeah. Did you mean to turn that way? What way? <laughs> Facing him. Like we... No, when we spun out? Yeah. No, no, I, that was not intentional. <laughs> nah, the, the wheel caught up to me because I en the way I initiated and entered, it just, it had me all kind of fucked up. I also wasn't expecting this car to be as loose off the line as it was. So that fucked me up. I didn't know how the car was gonna react because I've got 70 pounds of pressure in the rear. So I might have to drop a little bit because they, the track's probably gonna get a little greasy. Yeah. But we'll see how this uh, how this chase lap does. That's a Drake Carter right here. feels pretty good I gotta say um, that new tune definitely made a difference so I'm digging that thanks Justin appreciate that man uh, I had to adjust the tire pressure a little bit I found out they were a little off the uh, front tires I thought that they were actually at like 25 after I came in they were more like 32 so I turned those down a little bit because I felt like I was getting a little bit of kind of inconsistent um, grip levels so I'm hoping that kind of corrected that I also brought the rear tire pressure down just a smidge because I felt like it was a little bit loose but overall, I feel like the car felt pretty good. We are the fifth battle going against Taylor Walker. Um, that girl can drive, so I, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, uh, little worried. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, just have a good run. That's all I'm just gonna have a good time. So, wish me luck, y'all. Peace.
Thank you, brother. Right, guys uh so far dan and andy obviously you've seen it they're in the show it's my turn I, i'm going up against white i can't remember his first name but he drives a white 350z with a little bit of rust on it uh so we're gonna battle him and see if i can make it into the show with the rest of the boys let's go attention to him behind me uh, but I do know that when we came out of that sweeper he was pretty much on my ass so uh, I hope I gave him a good enough line to follow suit and uh, let's hope he returns the favor and I'm sure he will and uh, I'm gonna do what I can to keep up with him because I know he's a little bit faster than I am so uh, yeah guys otherwise I felt pretty good Ass hole there. Damn, that, I thought she was like, boom. Yeah, so Hell yeah. Well, I got lucky with that one. <laughs> hey, good job, bud. We got the win uh you hate to you kind of, you hate to win due to hit somebody spinning out you know and you don't know if he might have had mechanical problems or anything like that so i mean you hate to snag it like that you always want to have like a good clean back-to-back -back battle but uh guys we got the win and we're gonna run into the main show main event um and i'm gonna give it everything that i've got I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty confident as of now. Uh, we'll see if the nerves decide to work its way back into me. <laughs> oh man. Woo! Hell yeah. Top 16. Let's go. Alright y'all. Round one is down. We made it on to the uh, the next round. Taylor, great driving. I thought it looked like a good lead run. I thought they were going to make us do it one more time because I felt pretty good on my lead. But anyways. Sweet. All right, guys, here we go. We're going on uh, top 16, going against Zeman. He's in the Cosmos uh, LS Swap 350Z. So this is his first year competing. So that's kind of awesome. He made it to the top 16. So um, I'm excited. Let's just hope we have a good run and just have a good time, right? Let's get out of this thing right here. Got some music running.
something weird. I don't yeah. know what it was. It did some huh. weird twitch. I don't know. It felt weird. Huh. But then in the chase, it felt fine. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, guys, that's it. That's it for me, unfortunately. That's um, all right. We got tomorrow. Right. Because uh, that shit's going to be fun as fuck. Let's hope. I'm, I'm mad at myself because I don't know what happened. Yeah. This car felt weird. It just didn't feel right in my lead. So. Well. It is what it is, right? It'll be all right. Hey, man. Well, y'all, that is it for me. Um, unfortunately, my car did uh, some kind of a weird when I when I initiated. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but um, the car just didn't feel right after that. I don't know if I was just in all the wrong spots or, or what, but whatever. It felt fine in the follow, so it's obviously me. I obviously messed up. I did something wrong. So congrats to that dude. He's a, he's a brand new driver, and um, he won fair and square. So maybe next time. Peace, you. Well, guys. I knew something didn't feel right, so I got under here and I started shaking stuff. That wheel almost came off. The lug nuts were only hand tight. I, get, I don't know how, like they were tight. I tightened them on at home. I'm not sure what happened and how they, they must have just vibrated loose or something, but I'll be making sure that I check that more often. Thank God it didn't come off. Oh well, it's part of the battle too. You guys gotta stay together, right? Maybe next time. All right, Joe, we're on our way to top 16. We got our boy Ben Phillips. We're gonna give it all we got and have some fun, baby. Let's go.
Alright, so I just got done watching Dance Run and uh, we're just, me and Andy were sitting up watching everything go on. Uh, Great Champion's out, so I'm actually, Andy actually just left. So he's going to get on grid. I'm going ahead and get myself ready to get up on grid. Uh, I've got to go against Tony. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, he's Belarusian. Uh, baller driver. We actually faced him in the shootout at the beginning of the season. So let's go see if I can get my face back since he beat me last time. Let's go. <clears throat> Figure out what's wrong. Your flux capacitor, Sean. Your flux capacitor? Yeah. How's the car doing? Feels pretty good. She feels tight. I'm trying. Good luck. Appreciate you. Bullshit driving, dude. That was bullshit driving. I hope everybody's seen that. That was. That was, uh. Whatever. We'll just go out here and drive my lead, I guess. I don't feel like that was right, though. I have the slowest car on takeoff out here and I and that's twice. That's twice I've had to slam on front brakes because nobody's leaving the line properly. <sighs> Don't try to run from them. Just drive your line. Don't run. Just drive your line. Don't worry about hitting that inner clip. And just go. Man, that got in my head way too much. Let's see what happens here. All right, guys, we got it one more time. Now we know how he's gonna drive. Let's see if he drives any different or if he stays consistent.
Oh man, now I'm just driving angry. That was my fault. That was my fault. If I'd have just, if I'd have just done what I needed to do. Yeah, I drove angrily. That was my, that was my battle to lose. And I beat myself. But we got a number, we got a one more time with the number one seed, so can't be too mad about that. That dude's fucking, fuck him, he's, fuck him. He sandbagged on the entry. Sandbagged every time and sandbags the whole fucking track. In his lead, he purposely drives slow. I have the lowest horsepower car out here. There's no way I'm running his fucking door like that. Well, when he was going down through the Top eight is starting bonus rounds because I don't make it here a lot, so I'm excited. Let's have some fun. All right, so there we go. We got Andy. All right, LW leading Mason Bugnolo. Mason with the sneaky success today. We slow rolled the entry that time. Yeah, it's not over yet. Curse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andy's a beast though. He's a tough one to be. Definitely a shorter inside line by the follow driver, but not bad. I don't think he zeroed anywhere there or had a few deductions for sure, as he has been almost every time in the follow. Definitely some gap there. Cutting line and he dips some tires on the inside. And a little bit shallow on the line. So I would say Andy's advantage for sure on this one, but he's upset some others. Yeah, I would agree. So you gotta have a lead and a follow. Well, not you know, Andy's pretty lead. good with following. Yeah, that's so, true. All right, let's see what Mason can do in the lead and how Andy does in the chase. Ooh, going aggressive. Hope it don't bite him. Come on there, stay in there, Andy. Let the boy Mason. Okay, that was looking pretty good. Yeah, that was... Uh... But I guarantee Mason is going to be thrilled that he even made it this far because he's just getting back into drifting. Got an underpowered car. Look at that. So we see Andy diving in and from here on out. All right. Just like that, judges have 
We're able to make a quicker decision this time, luckily, and Andy Wright gets the win. All right, so there you go. You got Andy Wright leading Dustin Walker in the 350Z. This should be a good match right here. These are two talented drivers. And you Andy's can already see that power advantage, but slight. No, no, I can see oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> So you see Dustin. Both drivers throwing a lot of left foot brake action on the exit of the course. I don't know why I said exit wrong, weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. Awkward, bro. Yep. What? <laughs> I don't know, man. That was a that was a banger for both drivers. Uh, yeah. Did very well. You can definitely see the driving uh, style differences to where, especially coming out of that rear zone, where you know Andy will throw a little more of an e-brake drag, whereas Dustin is a, a quick flick and let the car just sling into that pocket. So that may be something to see on the opposite end of this battle. Is man, it get, look when it got dark, the picture got a whole lot better. Man, we're high vis now. Yeah, that's like. Damn, y'all yeah, can, yeah, y'all can see my, my wrinkles now, man. Hey. Too damn old. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll see on the flip side if, um, you know, just with Dustin, we'll see right there at that rear, that first rear zone where Dustin would just flick the car in transition if uh, that may mess Andy up. So we'll see here. And we're going to ask the claws to turn of the HD camera off back to low, low quality. So we'll let's see right here. So I right, so that let Andy kind of dive in. So that was almost a disadvantage. Dang. Yeah, that was almost a disadvantage to Dustin. Because uh, he was so clean. For that driving style. He made it too easy to follow. Too easy to jump right in that pocket. So we'll see again right here. So Doing once we right get through thing. that, I want to see this first clip. Okay, not right. super tight. Nope. But we'll see right here this flick. Bam, let Andy uh, dive and right up inside in there. inside just a little bit. Oh, and Andy hit the car. All right, so what the judges have called is Andy Wright. Andy Lucas Wright. Andy LW gets the win. By a slim margin, but enough to. Three qualifying spots. So he getting paid. Yep, so you're going to get some cash money and prizes today on third place. <laughs> a little so bit of difference. This pen sucks right now. All right, third is going to be Dustin. So going into the final battle, we got Max Seabear versus Andy Wright. Andy oh, Wright and Andy Wright. Max Seabear had a little bit of trouble uh, on that first initiation. Going to have trouble right there straightening out just the hair. But Andy went wide, too. Yep. Uh, hard to say. Hard to see how Max, right Max, Max kind of had a uh, very limited angle across this last. Yeah, he got put, put, put into a weird uh, line. He had to stick with it because he doesn't have the power that Andy does. Andy's a little bit wide there, which kind of messed him up a little bit. And then, let's see, Andy gets a little bit in the touch of the zone, but... Uh, Max gets it in there just as well, but he got off on a, a slightly shallower line there. Yeah, that was and like he had to kind of stick with transition. it. There was no yeah. powering through and sliding it out to the rear zone. He kind of had to stick with that mid to slightly wide line. So we'll see him swap rolls, and this is for the gold for today. So for round three, this is for all the marbles. This is for the gold for the day. Running it back. Max Seabear in the Andy LW in chase. Andy doing a nice job of keeping the proximity right there through that first inner clip. Max going really nice into that deep zone. Andy just a little bit. But will that be enough to seal their fate? First place. Got the money, got the gift certificates and the champagne. Goes to Andy Wright. So Max, <laughs> Max Seabay with second place. <laughs> there you are, sir. Got it started for you a little bit. All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
All right, now it's time for the champagne celebration for this round. Got to make him work just a little bit for it. I helped him get it started, but all right, here we go. Dustin Walker, oh! Max Bear. And he's like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> One more time, everybody. Yeah. Pro tip, make sure your shit's charged. This is take two. <laughs> so anyway, what we were talking about was Daniel's, he, he put insulation up in the roof, so he slept very nice, very cool, right? Yeah, nice and yeah. cool. Yeah. He slept in a little late today. That's all right. Now we're running even later. He's, late got, on he's got a new baby. He's got a new baby. He's, uh, you know, being living the dad life, living the track dad life. Breaking in the baby. You want to peek in there and see the baby? Wait a minute, like, yeah, it looks like a little baby. The last There's his one baby. Uh, and then, uh, and then, oh. Oh, look at him. Uh, so adorable. So adorable. Say hi, Patrick. Hello. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, we're here on a new day. Um, Andy, holy shit, congratulations, man. Thanks, brother. Well earned, well deserved. Dude was, dude was an animal. You know, we all knew the whole entire grid was screwed when he came up to us and said, I now feel like I'm back driving my old car. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Everybody is damned. <laughs> and we're we're coming into the championship for the day. Uh but yeah. We're gonna close out this video. We'll see you guys in a couple days. Hold up, hold up.